In this video, we're going to talk about central lines. These are IV lines that are especially placed and positioned with the tip in the main vein in the chest called the superior vena cava. They have several advantages over regular IVs and are ideal for patients that will need medications at home, for example, or require frequent medications, or sometimes require medications that may be toxic to a peripheral vein, but when injected into a central vein, which is this big vein called the IVC that has a lot of blood flow and it's a very large vein, the medication gets diluted very fast and therefore it doesn't damage the veins. So in the three most common types of central lines are called a peak line, which you may be familiar with that. They are inserted in the arm and they can navigate through the arm into the superior vena cava, either guided by EKG technology or sometimes guided by x-rays. Another option, it's called a tunnel peak line or a tunneled central line. It's a line very similar to a peak line, but instead of being inserted in a small vein in the arm, they're inserted in the internal jugular vein here and then tunneled under the skin so they come out here in the chest, either on the right side or on the left side. Now that gets us to Mediport. Mediport is a little chamber that is completely inserted under the skin and can be used as a central line. So when you are not using it, you don't have anything there. You cannot even see them. And you can take a shower, you can swim, you can play tennis, you can play golf, you can do whatever you want. You really do not have any restrictions by having a Mediport. That's the preferred line for chemotherapy because chemotherapy is something intermediate and you have chemotherapy every week or every two weeks or even every three weeks. Therefore, when they are not having chemotherapy, you don't have anything there. But when you have chemotherapy, the nurse can go in and access the port with a needle and perform the chemotherapy through that. For patients who require IV nutrition called TPN or total parenteral nutritions, they can use any of these types of lines and it's essentially personal preference. Some patients prefer a peak line, some patients prefer a tunnel line, some patients prefer a Mediport, although the Mediport is not ideal for TPN in my opinion because it requires having a needle there most of the time. Of course, all of these have a risk of infection and they require some maintenance and taking care of them. I think the port probably has the least risk of infection and the least maintenance of all of them. I hope this video helps you understand what are central lines and, and gives you some idea of how to choose which one is best for you. This is Minimal Invasive Insights and this is Dr. Fabio Comos.